guys, welcome to today's video. I should have brought this camera right earlier. Yes, welcome to today's video. I do apologise about you seeing the toilet roll in the background. As you can tell, we're in a different location. We're normally either downstairs or we're normally in the bedroom with the actual curtain thing around. Look, but unfortunately, um, I've had to take that down due to shortage of space. <laughs> Get my words out there. What today's video is going to be about, I'm basically doing a full review and a never tried before pound shop makeup called Makeup Gallery. I get this from my local pound shop in town and I thought I'd do a full face just using their products and seeing what I think about it. So I have actually already had to use a moisturiser and I've already used a primer because unfortunately with the pound shop that I've got with the makeup gallery in town it did not have a moisturiser or a primer with it so I thought it would be a bit of a cheat if I actually used those products actually on film on camera so I've already done those. <laughs> So the next thing that we're, well, say next thing, the first thing that we're going to come in with is the foundation. Now I'm a little bit panicky about this. <laughs> simple, oh, it's actually, yeah, simple reason why. When I brought this foundation yesterday, there were only four, about four shades left on the actual counter. It looked like uh, quite a lot of it had gone actually. Uh, and the only shade that I could get to be able to do this video today was Warm Ivory 2. Now, normally when you've actually got a foundation, you can see somewhere on the actual tube, the actual foundation, so you can see what kind of shade it would be. With this one, today it's actually gone down, so it probably needed just blending through a bit. This one, yesterday, that was clear, and that was also clear, that patch there, and I could not see the shade that it was going to be, so I thought, for a pound I will go on a whim and I will get it. If it doesn't suit me, it doesn't suit me. At least I gave it a try. But today it's actually blended in and the colour has come down. And that, it does not look too bad, uh, to be honest, to my skin. So I feel a little bit more comfortable today than I did yesterday. So yes, let's get trying this out. This, it's a long lasting foundation with UVA, UVB filters get my words out then and uh, no, uh, natural long lasting foundation with a flawless matte finish which is exactly what I love because I don't mind a little bit of dewiness on foundations on makeup because obviously you can always powder it up a little bit but I don't like my foundation to be really really dewy where it looks like my whole face has just been polished. I do like that matte feel. Not enough that it actually looks as if you've got a completely dry face. Um, but yes, uh, it says enriched with vitamin E and like I said, UVA, UVB filters for added protection. So it doesn't sound too bad at the minute. It sounds quite good. Um, so let's get trying. I've not tried this foundation before. It's the first time I've tried the foundation. To be honest, it's the first time I've pretty much tried any of the makeup. So it's got a bit of a, it's not much of a bad colour. It's got a little bit, I think, this one. It's more yellow tones, this one is. So with it, we're just gonna dab little bits of it all over my face. And what I'm going to do is then I'm going to come in with my blending bud and see how it goes. I'm not too sure how it will be because it's kind of thick, that is. It does feel really thick, so I'm wondering if this actual foundation may be better with a foundation brush. But we will see, we will see. We can only see, can't we? So as you can see, I've just dabbed my face over with that. The reason why I'm not absolutely, oh, say that, not absolutely plastered my face, I've put enough on, haven't I? Yeah, I look bright today. So I'm just gonna pop that on the side. I'm gonna use my trusty blending bud now this blending bud, yes, it's not by Pound Shop Makeup Gallery because they just don't do blending buds. Well, they do, but I probably should have got a pound one, shouldn't I? But yes, I'm used to this one. I've got two, but this is the one I'm used to. So we're just going to start blending that out. Um, first impression, it's blending out pretty well. It's actually doing really well, better than I expected because with it being thick, uh, thick consistency I thought 
it may have been that bit harder to blend but actually at the minute it's not doing that bad it's not doing that bad you'll notice my eyes are a bit red this morning reason being is because I was at a training last night because as you know a few of you may know I'm in a best third body shop at the minute so I went to some training so yeah I'm blending that out the reason why I'm actually blending it over my lips as well is because I find for some reason it actually helps my lips for when I actually apply my lipstick on later for it to stay on so at the minute first impressions yes I'm quite pleased with that um, I'd say it's medium I'd say it's medium to full coverage to be honest um, I don't have a lot of blemishes on my skin I'm quite blessed that way I don't actually suffer with a lot of blemishes but with it being full coverage if you do suffer with those blemishes then I would say this is definitely the foundation for you if it's because it's supposed to be a full matte foundation um, maybe if you do suffer with dry skin I may recommend more of a slightly dewer foundation or like a BB cream because I know with some matte foundations because if they've been obviously a matte it can actually dry your skin but yes with that foundation I'm really pleased with that my arms aching already anyone who uses foundation buds does your arms ache my arm does ache arm oh. <laughs> Gosh. you can tell I am from the West Midlands yes from Wolverhampton I've lived in Lancashire for since 2012 now but I have still got the West Midlands accent I don't think I'll ever get rid of that and every time I go over for a visit I still have the accent so yeah I am very 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 pleased with that I'm pleased with the shade I honestly was a bit dubious about the shade I was very unsure but I am so pleased with that I am really really happy with it um, as you can see it's got a really really good coverage it's got a lovely matte feel it does not feel too dry if I come up really close you can't see any patches it does not feel really dry it does not feel too dewy it feels just right for me <laughs> it honestly does feel really good so um, I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a blending just more just to make sure it's blended in so make sure I'm not leaving any thick patches on my skin so yes, that is the actual foundation that is warm ivory too I'm not sure altogether how many of these shades I do have like I said there was only four different shades in the shop I went in but a lot of them had already sold out so there probably is actually more shades than that the next thing that I want to come in with that I want to try is a bit of the their concealer the makeup gallery concealer which comes in a little tube like this now the only shade that I could get of this there was quite a few of these could I find different shades no the only shade that I could see was this was ivory one so actually it might be a bit shade lighter than the foundation that i've just used because that was like an ivory two so i'm just going to take it out of its packaging uh, there wasn't any testers either which i would like <laughs> to have been tested so i could have actually had a little look uh what the shade is actually like don't you just love these wrapping paper you end up spending most of your time on the video and wrapping the things. So I'm just going to pop that in the bin here. Are you ready for this? I'm really scared. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Oh, not bad, not bad. It's like a bit of a lipstick, really. That is the shade of it. That is another, to me, that is another like very light, possible yellow tone. Do a little bit of swatch on the hand um that's not bad that is extremely extremely light so if you are very light skinned say skin if you are very light shade then this may possibly be the shade for you um hopefully they do 
I don't know if they do do him in darker shades. Uh, I'm hoping they do, because obviously you do want these in different shades, not just one. So I'm just going to pop a little bit under my eyes. It comes up extremely light under the eyes, which can be actually a good thing, because that's where you do want it light the most. So we're just going to give it a good good wiping under the eyes a little bit by the nails area because I don't know if you find the same if we've got any more blemishes not today because I don't know if you find the same but I do suffer with blemishes right by the nails as well for some reason so I'm just blending that out now oh god I love that I'm really really pleased with that I cannot believe how good it is for a pound product for one pound product I cannot believe how good that is it is a lot better than I expected uh, as you can see it helps to brighten the eyes up when I put it under the eyes fantastic look at that it really does help to brighten those eyes up now that is another big yay in my book definitely a big yay so to, f to actually set the foundation a bit more I probably don't even need to set the foundation because as you can see that is a lovely finish it's not too dewy it's not too um, powdery but I have a habit of this and I've got to do it <laughs> I'm going to set it a little bit with the pressed powder foundation from makeup gallery they have different shades of this because I have seen a few shades of this one. This one is in Sand 4. This is the shade Sand 4. Now, personally, that looks a similar shade to the actual cream foundation that I've just used. So, it is still light. I'm going to take my brush there and I'm just going to take a little bit of that product on there and we're just going to tap that over the, <laughs> over the face. I probably should have actually not spoke as I did it. We're going to tap that lightly over the face because we don't want too much on because obviously we've got a really nice finish there with just the foundation and the concealer on its own. I am I'm really pleased with that. When I was going to do this video, I was, like I said before, I was a bit dubious because I wasn't sure whether it was going to actually do okay. But I'm very, very pleased with that finish on there. So yeah super soft matte powder for a shine free finish contains vitamin e and that shade is in the shade sand four so the next thing that i am going to come in with is you don't have to use it if you don't want to i like to use it because i'm always used to using a bit of eyeliner on the eyes the only shades i have is black when i had a look at the makeup gallery range um the only one that I personally could see was just a plain black one and it's called Black One. I think you can get the other shades like the blue shades, maybe a white. Do not quote me on it because I am very, very unsure. Um, and it's called Quell Me on the end and it is still from obviously the makeup gallery. For this I'm going to look in that mirror there because at least then you're not seeing my eyeball and the <laughs> me pulling it down so just two minutes and I'm so glad that I did it that way not the other way so as I'm applying this it does not go on too heavy uh, not bad not bad have a look at that that is not bad I actually now that is another surprise for me because I thought this would have been not that good <laughs> so to speak so I'm just doing my over eye now it gives you a lighter layer of eyeliner it does not go on too heavy and with that I'm actually pleased with how that is because sometimes sometimes people don't always want that heavy eyeliner look some people do like it but yes for another pound that is definitely definitely worth it i really like that next thing what i usually do uh, for my makeup is i do my eyebrows now could i find an eyebrow palette no it was probably because we didn't have one in the shop i couldn't find one 
So, um, we're going to go with, we're going to use a bit of our shadow for this. Now, let's do a minute, because I just, I just want to double check that I have not got an eyebrow palette in, because I might already have one. I cannot be sure, to be honest, I don't think I have. Don't think I have. Tell a lie! I'm a liar! I, <laughs> I'm a complete and utter fibber. We have got an eyeshadow palette. We have got an eyebrow palette. The reason I couldn't find any eyebrow palettes when I went yesterday to the pen shop um, to have a look at the makeup gallery is because I wasn't looking for an eyebrow palette. The reason being, I already had one. I just haven't used it yet. Oh. <laughs> yes. This is obviously the eyebrow kit. Create the perf perfect brow using one or a blend of the eyeshadow powder shades. Finish with a sweep of the highlighter. So, yeah, so we'll give this a try. It's a cute little thing, a nice cute little thing. Um, you have shades for obviously your lighter shade, your medium shade and your very dark shade. So, today we're going to come in with a medium shade just to find out what it's actually like. So, we're going to take that one at the bottom there and we're going to lightly brush that over the eye. Um, this is obviously just a one, I think this is just a basic palette really, just a basic eyebrow palette because you can get eyebrow palettes that are, you can get lighter shades palettes that just focuses on lighter shades, you can get a medium shade palette in some and you can get a dark one where this is just a basic one, it has them all together. Which actually is not too bad because if you feel like going either lighter with your eyebrows or darker, that is quite handy. Uh, so I'm pleased with how this is going on. By the way, doing these videos, I am no makeup expert, especially when it comes to things like eyebrows and that. I just enjoy doing these videos. I really do enjoy doing these videos. So. And everybody has a certain way of doing their eyebrows, like some may use more of an eyebrow pencil. Um, yes, but I actually like using, I much prefer the powder, but saying that, I've, I've only used a pencil an odd couple of times. I don't really use a pencil that much, which to be honest, I probably could do with using it more. So I'm just... Doing it there, and I just turn my brush round as I'm going around the top. So I am, I am pleased with that. I really do like it. Uh, I actually like, I do like that. Oh, I'm going a bit down that. So oh, I'm very pleased with how that has turned out. So to give it a little bit of a shaping, and to give it a bit of highlight, we're going to take that top colour. It's a got a little bit of a shimmer, which you can't tell on camera, can you? So we're going to give it a bit of a little bit of a shimmer, we're going to take that and we're going to pop that under the eye. I'm going to use this to shape the eyebrows a bit. Um, does it do much of a different shape in them? Probably not to you, it probably doesn't look like it to you. Yes, and you're probably wondering why on earth is putting it above her eye. The reason being is because I just like it to give that bit more of a shape into my eyebrows. To me, it is making a bit of a difference. Um, so I actually do like it. Is it worth a pound? Hell yeah, it is definitely worth a pound. It is perfect um, for, especially for when you're traveling and you don't want to take a number of products with you and you just want to take little bits of products but not obviously masses that is perfect obviously as a little kit to take with you so yes next thing next thing what shall we do next thing we are going to come in with is eyeshadows now i was pleased with the eyeshadows that didn't have Right, I'm just trying to decide which brush to actually use. We're going to use this one, what I always use. Now, this one, they had different shades of the eyeshadow. They had more of the matte colours, they had shimmer colours, um, you, you name it. The only thing that I'd like to see 
is these eyeshadows in like a bigger palette where they have like about eight colors 24 colors i'd love to see something like that but obviously with it being a pen they're probably just the reason why it's only two shades this one is a shimmer shade uh, this can it says this can duo contain contains a blend of super soft powders with vitamin e crease resistant for a long lasting wear and the shades that i chose was i picked some shimmer shades as you can see there we've got a nice lighty shimmer shade there and we've got a darker one and being true to form we're going to take that light shimmer shade and we're going to apply that all on the bottom of my lid and just above the crease and i'm just going to get that there and we'll see what the actual if it does apply well now first hand you cannot see that i've applied anything on there at all we're going to take my finger this is something i made so we're going to take my finger and apply a little bit on my finger now it's probably because the lighting could be but hmm must have been i'm a bit dubious about the colors there the fact that you can't see them well but then again you can see me applying that little bit to the eye there so we're going to just we're going to use my finger to apply it on and then we're going to blend it out with the brush because I think that is the best bet. So just get the brush, just blend that out there. Now, must admit, I wish this was a slightly bit more pigmented because you can barely see that I've put anything on there. But like I said, we'll use a finger for it. But you can see it comes off, the pigment comes off. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem to come off very well so I'm just give that a dot on there with my finger mm. at the mini the lighter shade I'm not it's a pretty shade when you look at it in the palette but when it comes to actually applying it to the eyes I'm not really a big fan I cannot say, I can't tell that I've even applied anything on there, unfortunately. So we're going to come in with the darker shade next. We're going to take a bit of that darkish glittery shade there and we're going to apply that on the creases and just blend it out on the eyes. So we'll see how this one works out, especially if the one didn't, one didn't work out that well. So we're going to apply that on the crease. Ah, I'm just going to bring that just above. Now this one, as you can see, this one goes on really well. As I said, I'm not perfect at my eyeshadow. I'm not perfect at makeup, but I try my best. So if you are looking for videos where people have got that more of a perfectionist, then this probably is not the videos for you. As I try my best but like I said I am NOT a makeup artist I just love doing these videos I love bringing the video content out the makeup ones I was thinking about doing a haul today but I actually changed it to a pen shop one because I just wanted really really wanted to do this video so that is very dark there but we're going to blend all that out in a minute so as you can see that is a really that one does show up it was just the light one that wasn't seem to that didn't seem to want to actually show up now what we're going to do is we're going to take a blending brush and we're going to blend those colors out a little bit so it doesn't look so sharp and it doesn't look so harsh just give it a slight Blending out, dab. Blend it out there. And I know what I was going to do today, and I've completely forgot. I was going to actually use a bit of tape to. No, I like that. That is really, really pretty. Now, normally with this, what I would probably do is get a little bit of a glittery colour, put it on the lids, and put white actually on the eyes there. But because I want to stay true to form, we're just using that palette. Um, but we will get, we'll take a bit of that light colour and we'll put it on the inner 
corners of the eye. Just to make the inner corners stand out a bit more. And um, we're up to 25 minutes now. I can never do a makeup video that is less than 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm just going to dab that in there. Make sure I don't pop myself in the eyeball. So I'm just going to dab that on there. So overall, thought of that. The lighter one, I'm not a big massive fan because it just doesn't show up very well on me. The dark one, yes, I do like it. So, next thing is, now I could not get a liquid eyeliner. Um, unfortunately, I do like to use them where I could not get one. So, we're just going to come in with a bit of mascara. The mascara, I could not find this mascara at first. And at first, I didn't think I actually did mascaras. And I thought, okay, what makeup does the rest of the makeup? But not a mascara. Ah! I can't get into it. But I actually found it. <laughs> Just as I was about to walk off, I found a mascara. So, I've obviously, you can see that I have not opened it before. It's called Never Ending Story made by Makeup Gallery Lengthening Mascara. So, we're going to try a bit of this. Uh, apply generously for never-ending lashes containing formula enriched with panthenol and curating so we're going to try that see what the brush is like because I know sometimes the brush can make a big difference uh, okay that looks like it's got fibers in it you probably can't tell that well but that looks like it's got fibers in it We'll try it. So, yeah, that mascara is a load of pants. Yes, I'm not pleased with that mascara. <laughs> yeah, I'm not as pleased with that mascara. I'm really sorry, makeup gallery. So far, I've been pretty impressed with your foundation, with your powder foundation with your eyebrow kit, eyeshadow, even that, but I am sorry to say I'm not a fan of your mascara. You can hardly tell that I'm putting anything on there. You can tell a little bit, maybe this is good for a natural look, for if you want to go natural, but yeah, that is just that is just not doing anything for me. Um, like I said, Ari, I'm really sorry, Makeup Gallery. If other people out there do love Makeup Gallery products, I'm not slanting them because I sort of do like their foundation and some of their other things. But unfortunately, the mascara is not one of them. I'm saying that though, it looks a little bit better on the eye than it does on the other one. So yeah, I'm not a massive fan on the actual mascara, unfortunately. It's a bit unfortunate that is. So before we do the lips, we're going to do a little bit of contouring. Now I've got a highlight on here. It's a contouring kit, light one, cream highlight with a super soft contour powder with vitamin E. So obviously if it's not a big giveaway, the highlighting it is a cream. So yeah. I'm going to try a bit of that. I don't know what cream highlights are like. We'll use the finger. So just Yeah, I have no idea what that highlight is supposed to do. It's got no shimmer to it. Yeah, that really does highlight, doesn't it? Sorry, I don't mean to sound... Yeah, I don't mean to sound a bit funny about it. Okay. Let's try some of the contouring. That's the contour shade. So we're gonna, I'm just using my blush and brush because I have not got a contouring brush. 
So we're just gonna get a little bit on there, tap it on the end and okay. It's putting a slight colour. It's putting a slight colour there. It's putting it's put a slight colour on there. Um nothing major. Doing it around the face. Yeah, it's putting a little bit of colour there, the contour bit. So I suppose if you're just practicing contouring and you're starting off firstly, then I suppose it's not that bad. It's not that bad. The contouring, I'd say, it is okay. The cream highlight, yeah, I would not really go there, to be honest. So, overall review of that. Contouring, yes. Highlighting, no. So, the last thing I want to come on with, because I've kept you long enough, because I've kept you 31 minutes now. I really do appreciate it if you're still with me through this video. I know a lot of people do not like long videos. I apologise if it is a long video. Um, but unfortunately that's just the way I roll. <laughs> I go longer with my video. It takes me longer to do my makeup. I should probably learn how to go quicker. So the last thing I want to show you is this. It is... Pout matters and obviously it's by makeup gallery because i'm keeping true to form and just using makeup gallery intense color moisturizing formula with a matte finish this is a matte lip color it's a liquid lipstick but firstly excuse me why i'm going to use a lip liner and it's is it's 6m2 size definition so we're just going to give the lips a bit of a line so Ow. Okay, ow. Ow. Yeah, that lip liner did absolutely nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God, I'm not impressed with that lip liner. It felt like I was getting a needle and dragging it across the lips. Yes, I was not a big fan on the lip liner. And as you can see, it's done nothing on the lips. So the last thing we're going to come in with is the lipstick. And we've got the shade Intense Colour. It doesn't have a shade on it. So we're going to just apply this. I'm going out because of the smell of it. Mm. No. It's a nice light colour. So, yeah, <laughs> it's a light colour. It's a lot lighter than it actually looks there. I suppose it's okay, but it's not my favourite. So that is where I'm going to leave it today. Um, my overall review of it, S makeup gallery, some of your makeup I do like, like foundation and powders, uh, eyebrows, yes, mascara, definitely not, lip liner, no, <laughs> definitely not, I'm really sorry about that. Um, eyeshadow yes and no so it's a bit of a mix and match really i would go with some of the products and i would not go with some of the products um for but saying that for a pound what do you expect i guess it's worth it for a pound but saying that even the lip liner i would not even pay a pound for that um i do apologize some of it i'm pleased with really pleased with some of it i'm not pleased with so i'm going to leave it there today if you are happy with this video and you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up i really 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 do appreciate it and also don't forget to press that subscribe button 
because I love bringing out all the videos with you and excuse me and if you are already a subscriber I thank you very much um like I said the support I really do appreciate it I'm not getting paid for any of these videos and wait two minutes it's in the door who is that oh god Records. It's been over a week since you did anything with me and Rabbi. I'm sorry, I'm going to do a video with you on Facebook tonight. Oh, well, oh. happy birthday. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's Ra uh, Rebel, by the way. I nearly called him Randy. So, yes, thank yeah, you. Well, I might be Randy. <laughs> thank you for joining me this video. Uh, I shall see you next time and... Happy week. <laughs> Bye.